Biosolve is seven times stronger than acetone in its ability to clean resin or paint or the gel coat out of your guns. This will take it off almost instantly. It's made from corn. It's ethyl lactate. It's ethanol. Okay. It's a derivative of it. It's very, very strong. It's not carcinogen. It's not a hazmat. It doesn't put out any hazard air pollutants. It's fairly safe to work with this stuff, but it has an odor to it. Uh, some people don't mind it. Some people do, but it's strong. And it doesn't evaporate. It has a low vapor pressure. So where you would put a whole bunch of acetone on a rag and wipe a surface down with it, you just put a couple drops of this, it'll stay in the rag for about two hours, yeah. hour or so. be really effective. Your rag will load up with dirt long before this stuff flashes out of it. But on the surface, when you wipe a surface with it, you'll see a little bit, it'll look like there's some left over, but 20, 40 seconds later, it'll evaporate off the surface. But... You can put this into a, a bucket and clean your brushes and that kind of stuff with it. And that bucket, I think I have a quart bucket now that's in my garage I put in to clean all my brushes with. And that, that bucket, that quart bucket's been there for about eight months. And I haven't had to add any more to it. It's still wow. in there. That's... Yeah. So it's pretty powerful material. Um, it's really a lot safer to be working with. Uh, it's, we have the EPA logo on it. We're the only ones that have the EPA logo on a, a solvent replacement, acetone replacement. This is good stuff to work with. Be careful, this is a sample bottle. So these tops are designed. Um, this will actually, this might leak down the side. Don't leave this on a surface that you don't want yeah. the wax or the finish to come off of because it will take it off, okay? Uh, you can smell it. Do you smell that? It's not that bad. I yeah, well, it. you're I a painter. Yeah, it's not that <laughs> strong, though, really. It's not. Um, but this will uh, take wax off the boat. It will take scum lines off of a boat. Uh, if you mix it 50-50 with water and you scrub the non-skid where you see non-skid that have like mold and mildew in the non-skid, you can't get it out, that'll take that and out. like the excess wax, I know. It'll take that wax off, out, just yeah. like that. Um, and, it, and if you had a, if we had a Sharpie, I could write a Sharpie on here. There's a spot over there if you want to try and do it. Yeah, all right. So do you have a rag? Any rag, dirty rag's fine. What is that spot? It's some kind of adhesive. It looks like it's tape. Like tape residue, but this is an excellent adhesive remover. I mean, I, I've been shocked. We've take if you ever need to take graphics off of something, it's really good at taking graphics off. But it'll take that adhesive like off the of there instantly. Glue from the decals and all. Yeah, it'll take it right off. Any adhesives, clay, it just takes it right off. I mean, it's good stuff. Yeah. So there are other companies that make adhesive removers that have toluene and acetone and lacquer thinner in them. And we don't do that. This is a lot safer. Now, that same material is going to be in there all day. Okay. It'll stay in there for an hour. We can continue to clean surfaces with it. But it, remember, when we clean this, it's going to take the wax off of there as well. More that smells less, better than acetone. It doesn't burn your nose, I guess. Well, I try not to smell a lot of acetone. So. <laughs> well, all right, I mean, guys. It, it does. It's, <laughs> it's acetone's a, more. It'll clean your paint guns out really well it, they won't dry fire later on there are some other brands of stuff on the market like this mm -hmm. and they're 50 percent water and if you clean your paint guns or your tools with them they'll they'll flash rust okay. so this won't cause that to happen and you can recycle this so when you clean your paint gun out or any of your tools out with it put it through a um, a water polypropylene water filter that you can buy from Home Depot mm -hmm. and this stuff will go through it it'll take all the particulates out and you can reuse it over and over and over okay. again it's pretty cool stuff yeah, it is. and then it's not hazardous uh, it's 100% biodegradable so you know if it goes into the the land or on the ground water neutralizes it turns it into lactic acid and it's safe it won't hurt the environment so that's biosol